Welcome again friends. Again in this video tutorial we will be talking about the microflora of eye. Okay, so let me write it here. The microflora of so microflora of eye. Uh, sorry for the handwriting. Anyways, so microflora of eye. In the microflora of eye we can uh, we can see various different types because usually when we are talking about the microflora of eye we are talking about microflora of conjunctiva actually conjunctiva so this is what we are looking for okay in the conjunctiva we can have different types of microbes uh, all the time because again in eye we don't have any skin in this conjunctiva level when you are looking at uh, something we don't have a skin barrier except we are having conjunctiva so again it is directly exposed to the environment so again direct exposure to the environment so the or organisms that are present in environment is having a direct chance of associating with this conjunctiva right now usually the microorganisms that are associated with this conjunctiva are of three different types actually of two uh, major types according to the type of bacteria uh, coccus and bacillus we all know that now if we divide it into two parts, so let me write it here. One is uh, the coccus or uh, all, 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 so, 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 co cocci or cocci or cocci or cocci whatever and bacilli. This is the plural of bacillus. So coccus and bacillus, both of them. In the coccus, uh, we can have gram positive and gram negative, but in the bacillus, we are have only having gram positive bacillus uh, present only in the conjunctiva. So we are having a gram. Uh, positive type of bacillus present there in conjunctiva but uh, we are having two types of coccus there one is a gram positive and another one is a gram negative coccus now usually gram positive coccus and gram positive bacillus are very common but gram negative coccus is a kind of rare uh, species now uh, among these gram positive uh, coccus we can have a uh, staphylococcus streptococcus we all know that we are having this kind of microflora present in our screen because this type of microflora staphylococcus streptococcus and all these things they are present in the associated environment we have already talked about that right so so here this gram positive coccus we are having staphylococcus i'm not writing the full name because these are very very common staphylococcus or staph streptococcus a strip like that and among the staphylococcus we are having staphylococcus aureus and staphylococcus epidermidis species uh, in most of the cases now in the uh, gram negative coccus this is a kind of rare kind so i'm writing it with a red color this is a rare type in this gram negative coccus we are going to have two different types here in this case Neisseria species and as well as moraxella so moraxella moraxella Z X C L L A and obviously Neisseria species. So Neisseria N E I S S E R I A Neisseria species. Or you should put uh, italics or any kind of say uh, line uh, underline underline below because uh, that's what uh, needed because these are the scientific names, right? So these are uh, the gram negative, which are the rare kind, which are unique to this conjunctival microflora which are not found in uh, skin microflora but the rest of the part are found in skin microflora also and the gram positive bacilli we are having uh, corinebacterium species as well as propinobacterium propinibacterium species right we have already talked about that we can see this so corinebacterium so let me change the color corinebacterium and corinebacterium and also propino propi no bacterium okay so all this case these are the constant things so these things is completely unique okay and uh, another important thing about the eye or conjunctiva of eye actually actually uh, there are a lot of microorganisms out there now we know in normal tissue so we are having the preventing measures right so preventing preventing measures are important now what kind of preventing measures that we are getting here we are we are getting skin as a preventing barrier for our tissues so we shouldn't get any kind of disease directly associated by this microflora because we are having skin but in eye we don't have any skin there so it is bare it is only having this conjunctiva so what is the mechanism to go against this microflora in conjunctiva and the simple answer is tear so here is tear which is acting as the preventing measure against this microflora in conjunctiva okay because this tear is containing a very important component which is called lysozyme 
lysozyme. Now this lysozyme is an enzyme. Definitely you can see zyme, which means it's an enzyme. Now this enzyme destroy bacterial cells. So it destroy bacterial cell membrane and cell wall. So as a result of that, it destroys. So let me write it destroys bacteria. So as a result, it is playing some important role. That's why we can see if, if you're not crying also, you are having a kind of uh, conjunctival sac there. Now from this conjunctival sac, there is a uh, almost secretion of a liquid. So all time you can see there is secretion of liquid in your eyes. So eyes is a moist place all the time because all the time when you're closing your eyes and opening your eyes, there is a kind of liquid containing this lysozyme is releasing and it is going to kill all these microflora present there. If they are pathogenic, they need to kill this, right? So that is a kind of preventing measures against this microflora in our eye. So that's it. And I hope that's helpful. Thank you.